Hello, and welcome to Glam Nutritionals webinar series. My name is Corbin Holt. I am based at our Southern Idaho R&D Center in Twin Falls, Idaho, and I am the Bioactives team lead focusing on ingredient and application development. Uh, today, we'll be exploring protein's role in supporting overall well-being and how Glam Nutritionals can support you and your customers in the nutritional sector. So we'll jump right in here. I'll grab the slides. All right, let's get started. Now, each macronutrient has its role in the human body, but protein is often associated as an overwhelmingly positive constituent. Normally known for its nutritional benefits when paired with exercise, protein is making a strong case for its use in the immunity market as well. Consumers from a 2021 survey during COVID-19 associated protein with immunity support, ranking it right alongside well-known immunity ingredients such as vitamin C, iron, omega-3 fatty acids, and probiotics. Uh, these results came in as recently as February of this year. Now, protein is an essential part of every diet. It has mo moved beyond the standard exercise and weight loss supporting ingredient, as it's commonly known, as it's found in almost all of our various tissues. This includes bone, skin, hair, connective tissues, and organs. As a macronutrient, it plays a role in almost every layer of our bodies. Now, this leads us to the question, where can we find high quality protein sources? Well, uh, traditionally, these are found in animal sources. Eggs, meat, fish, milk, and whey contain high levels, whey proteins contain high levels of essential amino acids, which support the various tissues we men mentioned in the previous slide. Plant proteins are also becoming popular among consumers, but they are lower in the essential amino acids, which are so closely associated with many of the benefits. Now, how do you get protein efficiently in the diet? Well, dairy proteins and whey proteins specifically really shine through in this regard. The United States Department of Agriculture standard protein contents were used to showcase the various quantities of food needed here to match a single 25 gram serving of protein. Milk derived proteins, uh, which are roughly 28 to 30 grams or roughly an ounce, to get 25 grams of protein are clearly the most efficient, both in serving size and caloric density. As you can see on this slide, targeting 25 grams of protein from a single source can be challenging. A well-balanced diet can help mediate this, but dairy continues to drive the efficiency in serving and caloric density. Now, when it comes to researching dairy and backing up some of its benefits, uh, dairy proteins have been researched publicly and privately for decades. This body of research continues to grow, exploring the minute details associated with various dairy protein roles within the body as well. Uh, oftentimes, the research has shown there, there may be benefits such as increased strength, muscle mass, aiding in recovery, aiding in bone integrity or density, uh, boosting metabolism, increasing sati satiation, or even playing a role in supporting immune function. Not all of these benefits are always associated with pairings with exercise. Now, on the topic of recovery, looking at exercise, whey protein has been used in numerous studies and may show positive effects on muscle repair, rebuilding and maintenance, um, and other various factors. Consuming whey protein after exercise may speed up recovery. Consuming whey protein during or after exercise may help reduce muscle soreness and improve subsequent workouts, while also reducing fatigue and muscle soreness in endurance sports. Uh, the research on literature uh, whey is abundant, and readily available through many research outlets. If you're curious about some of these that we've referenced, you can look at them up at the bottom of the slide. Now, when it comes to associating uh, dairy proteins and whey proteins with weight management, uh, milk and dairy-derived proteins have shown positive effects ranging from satiety and body composition to lean muscle mass gains or retention. When paired with exercise and calorie-focused diets, the benefits of supplementing or including dairy-derived proteins can be quite abundant. Now, if we step away from some of the uh, exercise or fitness or diet related benefits, uh, we can look at uh, some of the protein benefits uh, and overall well being. Now, research shows that proteins from milk may play a key role in overall well being. A number of studies suggest that dairy proteins may help promote a healthy immune system, support strength and activity through aging and may even reduce cardiometabolic risk factors. And this is huge for a largely growing aging population. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more on how exactly some of these roles uh, are, 
are met and what proteins specifically within dairy fractions play those roles. So dairy proteins and whey proteins specifically are comprised of a group of proteins. Uh, now these proteins have unique functionalities and may offer unique bioactive functions. The most commonly referenced in immune function is lactoferrin uh, with immunoglobulins and glycomacropeptide or GMP in close proximity. Each fraction offers unique functionality and the overall support from dairy proteins. Uh, we're going to pass this slide and move on to some of the details, uh, but there is literature on the bottom associated with each of these fractions if you'd like to go back and look those up. Now, what is lactoferrin? Lactoferrin is an iron binding and transporting protein that may support short and long-term immunity through recruitment of cells that target pathogens. Lactoferrin has been researched extensively in both human and bovine form. It is found in small concentrations in the innate immune system, such as tears and saliva. It is naturally present in milk and is purified via an advanced filtration and separation technology. Uh, lactoferrin derives much of its possible immune modulating functionality from its iron binding capacity, which makes it a very unique protein in the body. Uh, another classification of proteins uh, that are quite uh, common and uh, functional within the immune space in terms of dairy proteins are immunoglobulins. And there's a variety of them. There's a family of proteins. They're large. Um, and there, there's IgG, uh, immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin G, as previously mentioned, immunoglobulin D, immunoglobulin E, and immunoglobulin M. Uh, and they're found within whey proteins. Um, they offer some unique microbiological uh, functionality in terms of protection from those microbiological organisms, uh, and they may offer some support in terms of antibody functionality. So paired with lactoferrin, these physically larger proteins offer the first line of defense generally. Aminoglobulin G specifically functions within fluid milk in an antipathogenic role. Together, they both offer short-term and long-term support to the immune system, uh, as well as some possible antioxidant support. Uh, some of the literature, again, is below at the bottom. Lastly, but not leastly, about glycomacropeptide, which is another whey protein fraction with immune function. Uh, it, is, um, it may uh, support absorption of minerals such as calcium, iron, and zinc, which are associated with immune function. Uh, it has bacterial binding capacity and functions as a prebiotic and may support intestinal health via bacteria and virus binding. Um, along with alpha-lactalbumin and beta-lactoglobulin, GMP can make up a significant portion of the protein in whey protein isolates and concentrates on the market when they are derived from sweet whey. So it's a major constituent within whey proteins. Again, there's some more research on the bottom of the slide if you'd like to dig into the details a little bit more. But hopefully this has offered some insight into some of the benefits uh, of whey protein fractions and dairy proteins and the overall well-being in this kind of developing market sector. Um, Blame Nutritionals offers a wide variety of dairy-based and plant-based solutions to meet your needs. Mm -hmm.